Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've filmed, but I am so excited because I finally got my package for um, my purchases for Black Friday. It was a, it's a very small purchase. Um, it would have been bigger, um, but I'll, I'll kind of get into that. But we have, I'm going to be as quiet as I can with this. My Kaleidos. I have a palette and two highlighters. If that sounds interesting to you, hold on, we're getting right into it. But I just want to take a quick second and introduce myself. My name is Haley. here are my socials, and this is my realm of creativity, where I mainly focus on makeup and fantasy-related things, so if that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing and becoming a companion on my makeup quest. I usually upload videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I have quite the backlog of videos right now. Um, I'll get into it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I usually upload on Tuesdays and Thursdays, usually around 1 p.m. CST. And if there's, for some reason, uh, I'm going to be missing an upload, I always notify you guys on Twitter and Instagram, so be sure to go follow me on there. Now let's get into the video. Okay, I'm back. I got all of the, um, plastic off of it. I didn't want you guys to have to hear that, but this is the little box, and I haven't opened this. I've... I got home yesterday and my husband was like, you got a package and I saw this and so I waited. This is genuinely a first impressions, guys. That is very rare for me because I have no self-control. <laughs> um, so this is the box. This is nice. It says makeup on the bright side and it says thank you for your support and there's a QR code and uh, scan to follow them on Instagram, but I already am following them on Instagram. And then you open it up, it's still packaged very nicely. Oh, these feel so heavy in the box <laughs> already. Um, so I'll just take out what I picked up. Oh my god, these are so nice. So I picked up two of the highlighters. I got Comet Catcher and I got, this one just says Kaleidos, but this one is Moon Cruiser. And I got the Taco Bell palette that Betty Jean likes to call it. The Electric Turquoise Futurism 5. Um, out of all of them, this was the one that I wanted the most. Because, oh my god, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh my god. This is like when Hannah Louise posts and I follow her. She talks about like wanting makeup for a really long time and then when you get it sometimes it doesn't live up to the hype and I have wanted this these in particular for a really long time I wanted more but I didn't want to get too much stuff um, in case in case I didn't end up liking the formula or something of that nature but I don't know if anybody who doesn't really like this formula so I picked up this one because I love 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 turquoise and like a bright orange together that's like my favorite color combination I don't wear that color combination like on my person but on my person <laughs> who am I I don't have clothes that reflect that color combo but it is my favorite all-time like color combo together and this palette has like the exact two shades that I think just complement each other so beautifully and I am just really excited now to have this in my possession because it's just something I've lusted after for a really long time. So I'm going to take the um, little slip out that has the um, shades in it, but I'm going to um, try and not blind you. So this is the palette. It's gorgeous and it's stunning and I love it. We're going to do some swatches. And I'm going to do an eye look, and I'm hopefully going to get everything on my eye. I have I have a look in mind to kind of hopefully get everything on my eye in a, co in a fashion that's not going to look bad. Because if you blend orange and blue together, it's not, not a fun time. Um, so I have an idea in my head of how to do this. Hopefully I execute it well enough and that's it um so i am going to start by swatching these and then i'm going to move into the highlighters because i want to swatch those as well 
So I think I'm trying to get this all. So starting with the deep brown, ooh, that's magnetic and it took my tweezers on it. So starting with the, oh, those are nice, nice and soft. Those are probably some of the softest shadows I've ever tried. Um, the brown is wired. This is the dark matte brown. Um, dig digital is this dark, ooh, this dark blue. Tron is this, oh wow, that feels wet. This very sparkly blue. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. I don't have anything else in my collection like that. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I love that color, I love it so much. Okay, next is Volc Voltaic. And that's that orange. Next is a force field, which is the like light powder blue. It's almost like a between a powder blue and a teal. I wouldn't necessarily call it as bright as a te of a teal, but it's not as muted as a powder blue. And there's that. These two shades are like the shades. I always make my armor and like in any sort of um, like customizable armor on a video game, these these two colors. Like I'll make it either orange with blue accents or blue with orange accents. It just depends on which one complements the armor better, but those are just my two colors. I always hands down make my make my armor these two colors. <laughs> and then last is Shockwave. And that, I wouldn't say it's silver. Let's see. This is Shockwave. Yeah, I know that the Cyber Bronze was on sale, and I didn't want to pick it up because even though it was on sale, it's not one that I ever had my eye on. So I didn't want to pick it up just because it was on sale. The only other one that I was thinking of getting was the Lunar Lavender. And I was like, I'm not going to get the Lunar Lavender because I'm going to get the Violet Ink from Menagerie because that is going out of stock and that will be on sale. So I made this purchase, went over to, to the Menagerie website, and it was sold out. And I was like, <laughs> so sad. So I might pick up the Lunar Lavender if they have another sale because I really would like a nice dusty purple color story. So... Um, but yeah, this one is a lot more sheer than I thought it was, which is fine. Um, it's like a champagne, silver, it's like a, it's like a goldish, almost, it's like in between gold and silver. It's really hard to explain, but it's definitely a topper. It has like a clear base with shimmer. It's, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um. But yeah, that, that's the, oh, there's a bobby pin stuck to it. First impressions, just looking at this and swatching it, um, I, I am really happy with this purchase and it is really, without testing the performance, everything that has been in my head, just owning it, um, if that makes sense. So. Just having it in my hand, feeling the weight of it, looking at it, swatching it, just the feeling that I have had pining after it has come to fruition and it has not let me down in this physical way. We'll, we'll see about we'll see about the um, performance though. Next, I have two of the Space Age highlighters, which. It took everything in me not to get, not to get the, just the full collection set. It was a little too, um, not expensive, but I just, I didn't know if I wanted all of them and I just wanted to get one, a little more wearable one, which is the Comet Catcher one. And then I wanted a blue highlight for the longest time. And so I decided to get this one. So we're doing, so we have this, the, uh, 
Moon Cruiser and the Comet Catcher. I really want to get Skywalker just because it's the name Skywalker and Star Wars, so duh. Um, but I didn't get that one. Also, the I think it's Ray Rider, which is the like sunshiny yellow one. I want that one too. So those two, um, plus the Lunar Lavender, I'll probably end up picking up sometime next year. Um, these are a lot heavier and bigger than I thought they w would be. Like, I don't know why, but I thought that they were like this size. Like anytime I watch a, a video that showcases these, I feel like they're smaller. Um, but I, I guess I'm just insane. Um, but this is the number one comic catcher. I think this one has like the bright fuchsia shift to it. It's a nice um, plastic protector. And this is what it looks like. There's a nice embossing in, in it. There's a nice imprint. I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be. I think it is supposed to be this symbol, but imprinted on the pan. And I don't know if I'll be able to get the shift for you, but we're gonna try. So, oh, that just like, oh God. Okay, so this is Comet Catcher. You can kind of see the pink, yeah, with that light up there. Yeah. I'm really excited to, to try that. And the one that I really wanted that I'm so excited to just like dig into, this Moon Cruiser shade. It's beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. So here's Moon Cruiser. It's a lot um, lighter of a 10 than I thought. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm thinking of their old packaging. I know they repackaged a lot of these to um, be like magnetic pans so you can pop them out if you wanted to. And I think that the old cardboard packaging was like a lot darker like my shirt. So I think that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, oh it's just gorgeous. I am so happy. I'm so happy with these purchases. Oh my god. These are just... They're stunning. They're so stunning. Okay, this is Moon Cruiser. Yeah, you can see that blue shift. I've never had um, highlighters that are this iridescent, so we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to wipe off my arm and part my bangs and prime my eyes, and we'll be right back for that I look. Okay, I am back and my bangs are parted. My brow, my brows. I already did my brows earlier. I'm doing a new shape. I don't know if I like it yet, but I feel like I do. So I know it looks different. Anyway, my eyes are primed. That's what I've been meaning to say. I saw this um, look Betty Jean just did. Um, that was a reverse smoky eye. So like a lot of the color was focused in here. And I thought that that would be a good way to get the orange on my eye next to, but not blended into the blue. So I'm going to pack a lot of the orange in here and just blend it out just a smidge. And then I'm going to deepen my crease with the brown and then I'm gonna put the dark blue on the outer corner and on the lid the um, really light blue faded into the blue shimmer and then I'm going to put the silver on the inner corner and smoke out my lower lash line. That's the plan. I don't know if it's going to go okay because I've never used this contrasting of colors together on my eyes so we're just going to see how it goes and keep in mind that I'm doing something rather risky for me and my skill level if the shadows end up looking like dirt. So. We're just keeping that in mind. I'm picking up the volta voltaic. I keep wanting to say voltan voltan voltanic, like vo volcanic, volcanic. I keep wanting to say volcanic. That is a very dusty, dusty formula. Okay. I am going to try and get as close as I can. Okay. Can you see me? All right. 
I am stamping this all the way up to my brow bone just on this inner corner I want to make it a, try and make it as, as bright and vibrant as I can and then I'm just going inside like that just making like a half moon half moon crescent moon probably is the better choice of word I'm gonna see if I have a oh that's much better And I'm not, I'm not bringing this in far at all. I really just want it all in my, like, uh, inner eye socket right there. It's not popping as much as I would hope it is, or hope it would be. It looks pretty vibrant in the pan. It's coming off a little bit darker. Um, I use the Milani eyeshadow base. I don't set it. It... This is a pretty soft, it sets itself pretty much. So there's that. Just blending that up into my brow. I think that's where I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna blend it at all really. And then I'm going to take the dark brown called wired just a little bit of it and start right here right where I feel like the bottom of my um my bone is meld the edges between the brown and the orange because these are both this Brown is not super cool tone, it's not super warm tone, it's pretty neutral, so it can blend into the orange all right without making it look insane. Okay. So that's pretty much where I'm going to leave that, and then just softening the edges just, just a little bit. They aren't the most pigmented, um, but they're the pigment is fine. I'm just... I don't know I'm a little I'm more used to instant color payoff not that this was sheer by any stretch of the imagination it just wasn't as opaque as some of the like colored rain or, or like my safari palette something like that where the pigment is like holy smokes I'm going to be taking digital wiping off my brush and yeah I'm back it's nice when you build it up though I think I think my plan is going well I'm going to go into like I said digital which is that darker blue and I'm just going to oh that's a nice that's a nice color payoff okay and I'm just going to stamp that and make it as dark as I can. And I can connect it with the brown, just like I said, because this brown is not a super cool tone brown. It's not a super warm tone brown. It's pretty neutral. So it's a nice bridge between these two opposites. So far, I think it looks great. I've never tried this kind of shape before. I think it's going really well. This isn't my favorite mirror, but also I just want to have this in my hand just to get a feel of it just a little bit. I think I'm going to take this up just a little bit higher than where the brown goes. I'm just trying to be very deliberate with what I'm doing with the color. Okay. Now the space is getting tight. I'm going to put a little bit of the light blue on this side and then I'm going to put some glitter glue 
down and put that blue shimmer on. And then I'm going to put the um, shockwave color, that translucent color, on the inner corner. So we're going with the color force field. Oh, that's pretty. And we're not blending. I just dip into my desk. I'm not trying to blend into the brown too much. I'm dipping in between Digiteal and Force Field. Now, I'm going to take my next glitter glue and the smallest flat brush I have, which probably isn't very small, I'm going to go right in the center of my lid. There's just a tiny little spot that's bold. And I'm going to go right there, all the way up to the crease where I put that wired shade, the dark brown. I'm going to blend the edges between the orange and the blue. There isn't going to be much of this color, but it's definitely going to help create some definition. Now I'm going to take the Tron shade, which is that gorgeous Malibu Barbie blue shimmer love. And I'm going to place that. Oh my gosh, uh, that is... Stunning. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's gorgeous. Definitely use a glitter glue with this one. This one's a little chunky. But I use a glitter glue with all my shimmers, so not a huge deal for me. I'm just placing that where I placed all my glitter glue. Very slowly, because I have a teeny brush. going to do the rest of my face, my other eye, my mascara, and we will come back to smoke out my lower lash line and to try out my highlighters. I'm so excited, I can't wait. I decided I was going to chit chat. I know that I said goodbye, but I just haven't filmed in a while and I missed you guys, so um, I'm going to talk while I'm doing the rest of my face makeup. I have had... I have a lot of videos pre-filmed and I haven't gotten them up um, because my puppy ate my computer cord so I haven't been able to edit any of them and so that has been a really big bummer in my kind of trying to get a video to you guys every day and this is like the first video I've filmed since my computer is now dead um, so I'm still filming because I love filming and it's it makes me really happy um, to connect with you guys and to talk to you guys, but I don't know when this is going to go up. I'll probably put this up before the rest of my videos go up because they're a little bit older and you guys get this announcement that my videos are kind of old now. Well, not super old. They're like two weeks old, but in YouTube time, that's old. I don't want to like waste the videos because like they're not, they're not not relevant. Um, but there's another group ready with me in there that I honestly don't, I, I have no clue what I said. Probably something along the lines of not knowing if I'll be able to upload every day in December, which, spoiler, I'm, I haven't, um, because of that, and feeling kind of down because of the weather and stuff like that, probably, because nothing has really changed since then. So I'm guessing that that is what it says, if I had to take a wild guess at what past Haley was talking about. Oh, my mom got me, my mom works for like this um, furniture company now and she's really happy with her job. I'm, I'm really happy that she has a, a space to that she feels comfortable in. That means a lot to me because she has never had a work environment this positive and I love to see her thriving. So she had like these um, fabric wall panels or like cushioned um, that I'm hoping to kind of um, get on my 
wall and have some sort of like um and kind of redo my filming space so i can have better audio because i think that it, it they are meant god i hate the smell of this foundation um it's like meant for like noise cancellation kind of things it's supposed to help and so i'm hoping to get that up um sometime in the next week or so probably over christmas break i'll be off thursday friday or i'll get off early on thursday friday saturday sunday i'll be off so i don't know why this foundation is so dark it this is such a weird foundation and i really don't like it but i don't want to get rid of it i'm not gonna do too much to the face um i'm gonna bronze it just a little bit um, so I can have some sort of color, but I really don't want to go in with blush until I see the highlighters. I am going to use a highlighter, both highlighters, on one on one cheek and one on the other cheek. Because why the hell not? I'm just taking my butter bronzer because the highlighters are powder highlighters and I don't want to go in with a cream highlighter. Not knowing whether or not the formulation will be okay so I'm just trying to give it the best chance and not compromise it at all the sun is setting it's like right in my eyeballs yeah it, my mood has been really down specifically because I can't film like I because I can't edit I don't know what to do with the sunlight <laughs> Because I keep staring into the sun, so then the spots on my eyes are better. I think it's slightly better. Because I like the sunlight, but it keeps like making weird shadows, so maybe not. I think we're going to do Moon Cruiser first, which is the blue one. And I've seen that it is best to do like a, um, a dense fluffy brush with these. If I'm not mistaken so I'm gonna tr I think it this one is probably the one that I have but it's a little floofy okay, we're gonna try this one I've tried this one with highlighter before this is the deluxe crease brush from real techniques and I'm just going to go for it I'm so nervous guys we're gonna put him I think we're gonna mix them in the end because one will be pink and one will be fuchsia so I think we'll swap at the end right after we see what is gonna look like what I think I'm gonna get a better mirror for this though these palettes have great mirrors oh yeah okay so you guys can see oh wow oh my goodness and there really is no cast, it's just, oh my god, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I have wanted a blue highlight for so long and I've just, I don't know why I'm gonna cry, but I am just so, oh my god. I'm just gonna bring it up like that. That is absolutely stunning that is absolutely stunning i've got to compose myself oh my god okay we're gonna wipe off that same brush and keep our shit together and we are going to go into comet catcher i'm gonna smoke out my lower lash line yes i know i said i would just give me one second okay i'm having the moment and I honestly forgot because I was just so excited to do this. So this is the Comet Catcher. This is Comet Catcher, yeah, Comet Catcher. And we are, we got that, our brush all loaded. Okay, just tapping off a little bit of our excess. And we are going to, I don't know if you can see it, I can see it, it's, I, 
making the most unflattering faces and I don't oh <laughs> I had a foundation on the back of my hand let's just get that cleaned up now back to freaking out this is oh my god okay yeah you can see it <sighs> you guys oh my god I am blown away I am blown away blown away I am I, <sighs> gagging I'm gagging it, they're gorgeous I have to go show my husband really quickly and then I'm going to mix them and then I'm going to smoke on my lower lash line but I just need to show my husband really fast just while they're in their pure form he said they were pretty. Okay, now we're gonna mix them. This was the right brush to choose. So, um, definitely because they're a lot, they're pretty sparkly. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous formula. I love it so much. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of Comet Catcher and mix it with this. Oh, that's, that's stunning. Now it's like a lilac. Now it's like lilac. Okay. That's that's gorgeous. All right. Moon Cruiser over here. Just to blend it them together and make them look like the same color. I'm going to put a, just a little bit of blush on. Not a whole lot because I still want them to be very blinding. And we're going to keep it bright going into my blush babe palette with this really with this really bright pink right here just a little bit and trying to keep it right underneath that highlight as much as i can now we are going to go back and smoke out my lower lash line like i promised you guys okay to smoke out my lower lash line i am going to take digital which is that dark blue color and connect it to my outer corner Then I'm going to take Force Field in the middle. I think I'm going to take it all the way across and then put some more eyeliner on and smudge it. I think that that is the best gameplay. Gameplay. Speaking of games, I'm so excited for Game Beauty. There's some reviews coming out today that I'm definitely going to be watching after this. I know that Annette's Makeup Corner and um, BB both got it in PR, and I am so excited to see those reviews. Especially since a lot of like techniques that I've learned are from like Betty Jean. I'm really excited to see how it performs for her. Not that I won't get it. Not that I won't pick it up if, like, she doesn't like it or anything. It's just I would like to see how it performs for her. I feel like this brush is, like, the MVP of my year. It's, like, the BK207. It's just a really good brush. I'm taking that Digiteal. Yes, Digiteal. And trying to smudge that eyeliner that I just put down reinforcing that orange that I had not really blending it to the blue I'm just taking it to the blue and stopping I just want it to be very vibrant against the force field color and then I'm stamping force field right on the edge of the orange to make it that concentrated like that I think that's gorgeous okay I'm going to take some of the shockwave color and use my finger and a little bit of glitter glue actually let's see how it goes with my finger first i just want a little more so my thoughts let's start with the palette i 
like I said, I lusted after this palette for a really long time and the feeling I have now owning it has fulfilled that longing and that is great. I feel like a lot of times we want a product for a really long time. Like I mentioned Hannah Louise Poston mentioning that we want something for a really long time and then a lot of times when we get it, it doesn't fill that expectation that we have for it and this has exceeded my expectation for it. Um, like I said, like I said, I always say that. Um, these two shades in particular are what I was really excited about and I feel like they weren't as pigmented as I wanted them to be. The brown and the dark blue and the beautiful like Malibu blue shimmer. Stunning. Gorgeous. Love it. Um, this one in particular is a lot more sheer and it's hard for me to pick it up on a brush. It's better with a finger application. I had to do that on my inner corner. Even when I put down glitter glue, it wasn't really t like taking, like leaving my brush. <laughs> um, so that was just kind of a trial and error type of thing. And I, I feel like a lot of times when I've seen somebody dip into this palette, they're doing like orange all over the lid and then a blue lower lash line. And I've never seen, um, at least from my memory i've never seen somebody try and do everything on their lid and that was kind of me going out on a limb taking a risk trying to fit everything on my on my lid um and i think it looked i, I love my look i think it looks spectacular it was just a little bit of learning a learning curve um especially with this shade and i feel like i needed to pack these on a lot more than i thought i was going to um I did just do my sister's um, birthday look where I did a cut crease, so I might try using that concealer that I hate as like an eyeshadow base to see if maybe that will make the orange and blue a lot more vibrant um, as I feel like this packaging is. Um, they weren't disappointing shades in the slightest. It was just, like, like I said, a learning curve, especially with a uh, shockwave. Um, those three at the end were not what I was expecting, but not a disappointment. So, um, as far as packaging goes, gorgeous. Love it. Um, personally, for me, this is not, like, I, when I'm using this palette, I'm, this is not a mirror that I would choose to use. It's just not close enough. Like, if I want to see my eye look, I have to hold it here. <laughs> um... If I held it where I hold my other mirrors, I can't really see what I'm doing too well. Um, but that that's a personal preference thing. Um, so, and I'm also blind. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's that. I have bad eyesight. And it just shows. This is a gorgeous palette. And I am elated that I, that I own this now. It is, has fulfilled my need for, for wanting it. So I, I I feel happy owning this and if it's the only Kaleidos palette I pick up and I, I'll, I'll be happy with it. Um, it. It's not the the things that I was having issues with is not something that would deter me from getting like I said the Lunar Lavender that I was interested in. Um, so I, I would still be interested in, in getting that. I just know now what kind of formula they have and, and stuff like that. So I have a more well-rounded idea going forward with my purchases with this brand. Next, we have the two highlighters. And to say I was nervous about these was an understatement. And now, you're like, Haley, if you were nervous about it, why did you get two and not just one? Because the one that I really wanted was moon cruiser i really 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 wanted a blue highlight so bad and i wear makeup you know however i want to wear makeup but sometimes i <laughs> when i'm with people who aren't as cool as me and they're like wow your cheeks are blue um it's not that i care it's just that like i hate explaining myself <laughs> to people so I wanted something that was just a little bit more approachable of a highlight and I have 
this highlight, which is the um, Dirty Little Secret Cosmetics. I've had this forever. It's a, a nice pink highlight, and I always think that it's very wearable. So I decided to get another pinky highlight um, in the same formula because I thought that that would be a safer bet just to cover my bases. I wanted a more wearable one. It's pink, yes, I know. More wearable to the blue, even though the blue is what I wanted in my heart. They're stunning. They, I have no words, no, no words to tell you how much I love these. I, I can't, like, I was really worried about the formula. I've seen it demonstrated on people on YouTube for as long as they've came out. I've seen people demo them, swatch them, and I'm like, wow, those are, those are really bright. Like, I want a bright highlight, but like, I feel like there's no way that there's not going to be a cast. Like, they're going to be really glittery, and yes, they are very glittery, but I cannot tell you how gorgeously smooth these are. I'm glad that I waited um, because I have watched it be demoed a numerous times and when I was looking for a brush for that, for them to, to try out, I knew that I needed something dense that I could buff into the skin. I know that it is a very um, shimmery highlight, so something that is going to be too flimsy is going to kick the powder everywhere and having having that previous knowledge I think really aided in my success and um, joy of using this product and I I love these highlights so much I say um, if there's any that you're interested in definitely definitely pick them up I think that they have a gorgeous like array of them I know that they got rid of the second one that I wanted the most the, the ones that I wanted for the longest time were the blue and the green and I know that they kind of switched out the green one for I think their new prophecy highlighter which is a multi-chrome highlighter that switches from pink to green and I think gold or, or something else it, it has at least three ships I'm, I'm aware of and um I know that they switched out their green for that one and I'm really sad that that is not something that I'm going to be able to pick up anymore. You know, maybe I'll find it on a secondhand site, but as far as getting it retail-wise, it's no longer available. And I think this packaging is so luxe. I don't really, I don't have a lot of like heavy luxe feeling makeup. I have very little like high-end feeling things. And these just feel so luxurious and sturdy and just these were this was probably the best purchase I've made in in 2020 like hands down like over my BH and that's saying a lot because I love those palettes I love those palettes and I've just I think because I've wanted these for so long and they've exceeded everything that I've ever wanted from them um, things that I didn't even know. I, I am just, I am blown away. I love my eye look. I love the highlight. I, um, I don't know if I'll pick up their blushers and I don't think I'll pick up their, like, highlight contour palettes just because those don't really seem like my vibe. If I was going to make another purchase, like, tomorrow, what I would pick up is the Lunar Lavender the yellow highlighter that I think is the Ray Rider and the oh what what was the uh, there was another highlighter I wanted I said it at the beginning of the video and I don't remember um at least those two things the Ray Rider and the uh Lunar Lavender those two specifically I would pick up so yeah, that is really all I have for you guys today. I am so happy to be filming again. I don't know when this is going to go up. It will probably go up before all of my other videos. So just be aware that this is going to be the most current video of the videos to come. 
and I hope you guys have an amazing day. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe. If you guys have anything from Kaleidos, you know, comment down below what you're loving. And if you are wanting to pick something up, um, let me know. And I'd love to see, you know, the makeup looks that you guys do with whatever you guys get. I'm so appreciative of the time that you guys gave me to kind of um, take time for myself for a second. And I, it's, it, it means more than you can, you can know. But I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.